Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Sweezy. And I'm Annie Roberts. Welcome to the first episode of our new series called Advisor Spotlight. Fantastic, I love a new series. Yes. All right, we are here in Gallery 3 in the Van Haven Museum, which is gonna house the new for 2024 display. And there, how many figures? 68 figures this year in the new for 2024 exhibit. That is a lot. It's, it's the biggest class of newbies we've had as long as I can remember. And we're excited about two who are part of this new exhibit. Donated by advisor Dan Horn. So joining the collection, the Van Haven family, Orson and Cassandra. Before yeah. we talk about the puppets, let's talk a little bit about Dan Horn. Mm -hmm. People come through the museum and wonder, how do professionals even get started? Yeah, Dan started doing ventriloquism when he was five. <laughs> That's really young. <laughs> so people say, what was, the, you know, what was a professional's big break? And really, the big break might happen, but not before lots and lots and lots of performing along the way. Yes, uh, Dan, I think his, one of his first big jobs was he was hired by the city of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So in 1979, he put together a safety program um, that was then used in schools. Yeah, and that program was so successful that he, he developed it even further and it became um, an educational program and a video series. And his next step was working for the Good Samaritan hospital program system in Phoenix doing health oriented videos for teens. Yeah, and that was so useful because it allowed him to use his teaching skills, his creativity, his ventriloquism skills, and his writing skills. Yeah. And probably what people would say was, or what maybe Dan would say was his big break, was in 1981 when he joined the cast of Wallace and Ladmo. And that's where these two puppets come in. Mm -hmm. uh, the Wallace and Ladmo show was actually a, a program that was on in Arizona for more than 40 years. And Dan was on the show for seven years starting in what year? 1981. That's right. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about these puppets a little bit. So Cassandra here on my right is the, the fourth Cassandra. Uh, and she, her character was a saucy 13 year old girl. As they tend to be, that's right. Mm -hmm. And this Orson, <laughs> this Orson is the second of uh, Dan's creations of Orson. And he's supposed, his character is that he's 91 years old. He's a retired vaudevillian singer. Mm -hmm. And he's very crotchety and cranky. And when Dan would ask him, you know, how do you, what do you attribute your long life to? He would say, the fact that I am not dead yet. <laughs> so there's that. Mm -hmm. So after Wallace and Ladmo, Dan went on performing bigger venues, um, comedy clubs, mm -hmm. cruise ships, casinos, mm -hmm. conventions, mm -hmm. work on TV, and he developed what uh, probably one of his signature styles that he's known for these days, which is a co combination of puppetry and ventriloquism, where he's using arm rods to really bring Orson to life. Yes, and that's th one of his signature. The first time I saw Dan perform and he had Orson attack him, I just thought I was going to lose it. It was just so realistic and lifelike. And when you consider that he's the one doing the violence against himself, it makes it even funnier. Yeah. And Dan's been an advisor here at the museum for decades. Decades! Yes. And so we're excited to have his figures in the collection now. And we appreciate things that he has done to support the museum. That's right. He's, uh, he's given us proceeds for, for from book sales. He has worked our dealer's table for us. Um, let's see what else is he what else mugs that's buttons. right oh that's right the buttons and the pins it's been great yes. thank you Dan we appreciate him so much yes using that creativity in new and different ways that's right yes so thanks for joining us on our first episode of the advisor spotlight yep. I look forward to seeing you guys here for tours uh, starting May 1st and of course my conventioneers I can't wait to see you guys in July and be sure to stop by and see Cassandra and Orson here at Vent Haven mm -hmm. Get in front of the crowd, and uh, I'm hoping. What are you doing? What are you doing? This? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Check in the light. Oh, the mic is on. Maybe I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. All right, let's turn up your hearing aid. We're hitting the microphone. It's like a light. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, rare treat for us tonight. Oh, was that too loud? That was my boob. <laughs> It felt like a volume knob there. <laughs> I said it was cold in here. <laughs> Are you okay? It tingles. I'm sorry. Oh, oh kind of feels good now. <laughs> do the other one. <laughs> oh, let me do you. Will you stop it? Now, are you ready to start? All right, I am warmed up. Go on, introduce me. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. 
ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. No, come on, make it big. Make it big. Get it, show it. Ta -da! What? Tell it. Ta-da! Show it. Let's go. Take it or not. You ready? <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you my buddy, the one, the only, <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> ta-da! <laughs> 